In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your D2L gradebook using a weighted system. Now, the first step in this process is making sure that you really do need to use what D2L refers to as the weighted system instead of the points system, which is the other main option you have in the D2L gradebook. You should use the weighted system if you want D2L to use percentages to calculate your student's final or current grade, and or you want to make each column in your gradebook worth, say, 100 points and have D2L do the weighting calculations for you. Now, if you've already figured out the weight for each column that's going to be in your gradebook and you've assigned points accordingly, you don't need to use a weighted system in D2L. You actually just need to use what D2L calls the point system, and that's going to be a different video. The bottom line is, if your grading system looks similar to the chart on the top of this page, then you're going to want to use the weighted system and you'll follow along with the rest of this video to see how to do that. If your system actually looks more like the second chart, then you're going to need to D2L to employ the points calculation system and that's a different video. Note that both of these systems and these charts are going to calculate grades in actually the same way. It's just a matter of organization and personal preference and the kind of math you want D2L to do for you whether you want D2L to do kind of algebra with percentages or you just want D2L to do addition. So now, assuming that you are using this weighted system, let's take a look at an actual gradebook and set it up just like this chart is using the weighted system. To do that, we're going to go to the D2L gradebook and the first thing we'll need to do is tell D2L that we're using the weighted system and not the point system, which is the default. So we're going to go to the grades area of our course we're going to go to Manage Grades, and then we're going to click on this Settings link here in the upper right hand corner. And on the Personal Display Options page, we're going to go to the third tab that says Calculation Options, and we're going to switch to the first button, which is the Weighted System. Here's D2L's definition of the weighted system. Under the weighted system, grade categories are assigned a weight as a percentage of the final grade, and grade items are assigned a weight as a percentage of their parent category or of the final grade if they have no parent category. So now that we've got that set, we're going to say save, we're going to say yes, we're going to say yes, we do want to change the grading system, and then we're going to say close. And now we're ready to set up our gradebook in order to reflect the columns and the percentages that we want to have in our weighted total. Right now, D2L is yelling at us. It's saying the final calculated grade sums to zero, not 100%. Verify the total weight of top level categories and items is 100%. Our goal right now is to set up categories and items in our course that's going to make D2L stop yelling at us and get this error message to go away. We do that by setting up categories and items that all together are going to equal 100%. Let's take a quick look at our chart one more time. So for this particular chart, we have writing assignments that are 15% of the total grade, and each assignment in this is going to weigh the same amount of that 15%. Then they have participation and attendance, which is worth 10%, and that might be a collection of different assignments and attendance grades. We also have a midterm test and a final test, and those are each worth 25 and 50% respectively. So we're going to set up our gradebook to reflect those categories. Obviously, you'll be setting it up to reflect your own personal categories and weighting preferences. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to set up the great items that are worth a percentage on their own, okay? So this is when you have one individual item that is worth a specific percent of the final grade, like in our case, the midterm and the final. To do that, I'm going to go new and I'm going to go item because I just want a single category or a single column. I'm going to select numeric and that's going to be what we'll select for all of our grade categories that we create. I'm going to give it a name of midterm. I'm not going to assign it to a category. I'm going to assign it a weight of 25, that's very important. And then for maximum points, this is how I'm going to be grading this particular assignment. So in this case, on their midterm paper, they're gonna get a score out of 100 points, but it's worth 25% of the total grade. And then I do save and close. And now you can see that I have a midterm that's worth 25% of the final grade. The yelling at me message has changed a little bit. Now it says the final calculated grade sums to 25% and not 100, so we're getting closer. I'm going to go ahead and repeat this process for the final grade. New item, numeric, final exam, maximum points again for this case is 100, but it could be however many points your final exam is worth. Weight in this case is going to be 50. Save and close. Now it's saying final calculated grade sums to 75%. For my last two categories, 
which were writing assignments and participation and attendance, there's gonna be multiple things that comprise each of those percentages. So instead of doing an individual item, I want to actually create a category to be 15% for the category of writing assignments and 10% for the category of participation and attendance. So let's do that. I'm gonna go new and instead of item, this time I'm selecting the second option that says category. And let's start with our writing assignment category. And in this case, the weight is 15%. Now this screen looks a little bit different because it's a category rather than an individual item. And this is really important. If you want all of the things within this category to be worth the same amount, and that's probably what I would recommend for you because it's the easiest way to do it, then you want to check this distribute weight evenly across all items. It's the second radial button down under distribution. And then you also have kind of a cool option to determine the number of highest non-bonus items to drop for each user or lowest non-bonus items to drop for each user. An example of how you might use this is let's say you were giving maybe 12 writing assignments throughout the semester and you were going to give the students the, drop, the option of dropping their lowest writing assignment score. In that case, I would say one for the number of lowest non-bonus items to drop for each user. Again, it's 15% weight distributed weight evenly across all the items, and then I do save and close. We're even closer now. You can see that the final calculated grade sums to 90. So we have one other category to create. So here's our category. We're gonna call this one participation and attendance. We're going to keep it worth 10%. We're going to say distribute weight evenly across all items, but in this case, we're not just not gonna drop any of those items, and we're gonna say save and close. Now our warning error message has gone away because if we were to add up the weight in each of these columns, it would equal 100%. Now there's a few things we still have yet to do because we have to create individual grade columns for this writing assignment and participation and attendance categories. Now you can create these as you go. You don't have to create them all initially because you're just telling D2L to sort of auto disperse the percentage of the grades, but let's create at least one item in each of these categories. So I'm gonna go new, item, because this is a place where I'm gonna put grades, numeric again, and let's just say this is writing assignment one, and then this is really important. You need to make sure that it's assigned to the proper category. So in this case, it's a writing assignment. Notice that I can't change the weight, and that's because we've already told D2L how to do the weighting. The one thing I can change is the maximum number of points possible. Generally, folks that do weighted columns want to give scores out of 100 points, but that's totally up to you, however many points you want to assign for that particular writing assignment. And you hit save and close. And now you can see that within the writing assignment category, I have writing assignment number one. And it gets a bit confusing because right now, that writing assignment says that it's worth 100% in the weight category. Well, that's because it's worth 100% of the writing assignment category at the moment because there's only one item in that category. Let's add another one really quickly. We'll go numeric, we'll do writing assignment number two. Again, assigning it to the writing assignment category. Now you'll notice the weight has changed to 50 rather than 100 because there's two things in that category. This one's gonna be also worth 100 points, so it could be worth whatever you wanted. And you hit save and close. So now we still have our midterm that's worth 25% of the final grade. We have our final exam that's worth 50. Within this writing assignment category, that's worth 15% of the total grade, you have two items, and because there's only two, and because we had them distributed evenly, each of those is worth 50% of that 15%. And then we still have the participation and attendance category, which is worth 10. If this were my course, as I was going on and assigning participation and attendance grades, I'd have to create new individual items where I could put the scores for those grades. The last thing you may wanna do on this screen is you may wanna reorder or reorganize your various columns, and there's a couple of ways you can do that. One thing you might wanna do is go under More Actions and select Reorder. And then this is gonna allow you to put things in a variety of orders. So I want my midterm and final to be towards the end. So I'm going to change the midterm to three and the final exam to four. If I wanted to switch the order that my writing assignments appeared in the gradebook, I could flip their order within the category by doing that, and I'm gonna hit Save. And now you'll notice it goes writing assignments, midterms, participation and attendance category, and then the final exam. The other thing you might wanna do on this screen is to bulk edit your columns. Let's say you create some columns and you don't have them in the proper category and you have to change a bunch of those at once. 
If you do the checkbox at the top here and then click bulk edit, this is gonna take you to a really cool screen where you can assign different categories, you can tweak the number of max points possible, you can tweak the weight for your various categories, and you can make some other changes. So that's a really cool screen to be aware of. Now I'm just really quickly gonna go over to the enter grades screen. I'm on the spreadsheet view, and this is what it'll look like when I'm importing grades for my students. Here's the writing assignment category with our two writing assignments, then there's the midterm, and then there's the final exam. You'll notice right now you don't see anything for participation and attendance on the enter grades view, and that's because if we go back to manage grades, there's actually no columns associated with this participation and attendance category yet. So if I want to have a column under participation and attendance where I can add some grades, I'm gonna go new item, numeric, let's call this participation one, the important part is making sure to assign it to the proper category. We're gonna say it's worth 10 points. I can't change the weight. I hit save and close. Now under participation and attendance category, I have one column. If I go back to enter grades, now you can see that that column shows up. I can assign grades appropriately. And that's all there is to setting up the weighted grade system in your course.